it's Emily here and I'm here to inspire and empower you to make an impact in the world. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to reprogram your thoughts and beliefs. But before I dive into this video and give you all the amazing tips that you're going to need to reprogram your thoughts and beliefs, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and also comment below any other content that you would love to see in the future. So. To dive right into it, as you know, everything starts with awareness. It starts with awareness, having been aware that you have that limiting thought and that limiting belief. And then after the awareness, it's understanding where that thought and belief came from. And then asking yourself if that thought and belief is really serving you. And if it's not, and you want to reprogram it, then starts the process of really reprogramming it. So with this, the first step is the awareness, is understanding where did this thought and belief come from? Most of the time, we, what we aren't aware of, it comes from our childhood. Somewhere along the way, we were programmed a certain way, or we picked it up from school, we picked up it from a friend, or wherever it may have been. Our parents, a lot of different things are programming us from little up. And so you have to be aware of how that works. The things we see on TV, the things we see on social media and stores and all these things program us in a way. So if you have the limiting thought or belief or you're in a victim mindset, which I did this video last week, if you want to know the difference between victim mindset and empowerment mindset, go and watch that video <laughs> and then you'll see what I'm talking about. If you have the victim mentality and you know you're aware that you have it, and you are limiting yourself and you want to reprogram that when you're aware of it, you know it. If you're telling yourself that life is hard and you can't catch a break, you're, you've been programmed that way because that's been your entire life. Now, I will say it is very easy for us to justify our limiting beliefs. And for example, life is hard. If you have had a rough life and you just feel like you have not caught a break in life, then you can justify. You're like, yeah, I can justify. I've always had to work hard. Well, life doesn't have to be hard. It's only hard because you have it programmed that it is hard. If you shift that perception and ask yourself, how can life be easy? Then you're kind of opening up your perception. And so once you're aware that you have all these limiting beliefs and thoughts, and a really easy way that I learned for myself that was really effective for reprogramming limiting thoughts is one, the awareness. So I would sit down and write down every limiting belief that came up in my mind. Every single limiting belief, whether it was, I hate vegetables, I don't like to do cardio, life sucks, um, I'm never going to be able to make six figures, or I'm never gonna be able to start a YouTube channel. I don't know how to do this. And so every limiting belief I had, I literally sat down and, re and wrote them all down to start with. No judgment, just wrote them all down. And believe it or not, I did have a limiting belief about starting my YouTube channel. And now I am here <laughs> doing YouTube. And then after I had them all wrote down on one side of the paper, on the other side, I rewrote those beliefs. And in those beliefs, when you go to rewrite them, you want to make it very short. So if your limiting belief is that you are not enough, to rewrite that, all you have to rewrite is I am enough. And so for each single limiting belief that you wrote down, you'll write one to reprogram that. And so if you wrote I am not enough on the other side, you'll write I am enough. I am not smart enough, I am smart. And yes, your brain is going to be like, oh, but that's not true. You're lying to yourself. But no, what you're really doing is you're reprogramming yourself. And so when you write this down and you're aware that these are my limiting beliefs, you're bringing the awareness out. And how do I want to reprogram this? Then you start reprogramming it. Then you write, you know, I am smart. I am enough. And if you have a limiting belief like I don't know how, then reprogram that to, I can figure it out. Like it's that easy. And every one of the limiting beliefs that you've reprogrammed, you can use these as affirmations. 
So every day, get up and read the other side of the list, not the list of all the limiting beliefs, but the way you have reprogrammed your limiting beliefs to the other side of the list and read those and rewrite them. There's something powerful about writing. And this is why I'm a huge fan of journaling. And this is another tool I teach in the 30 day self discovery course that I've created, which the link is in the description below. If you are looking to really take your self development to another level. Um, but I teach in there the power in writing because when you sit down and you write, and you reprogram to write, there's something very powerful about that. It's not just typing it out, but actually handwriting and taking the time to do so. So after you have wrote down all your limiting beliefs and you've rewrote them, go back for each limiting belief. And if it overwhelms you, start with two or three or five. Like you don't have to address all of yours at once. It doesn't have to be that way because as you progress and grow in life, you're still going to continue to have limiting beliefs. So after you've wrote them down, if it says, I am not enough, if you wrote down, I'm not good enough, then go back and find proof where you have been good enough in your life. Or go back and ask yourself, where did that belief come from? And get really curious. Because the interesting thing about it is, some of our beliefs come from when we were children, for example, I can remember incidents where I was told by one of my friends in school, you're not good enough. And so I believed that and I carried that belief all the way through my life, right? So you may have different incidents where you remember and sometimes going back and remembering that is really uncomfortable and it's not something we necessarily want to do, but it's something that you can do where you can understand. I remember that. And that's not even true. And most of those aren't even true because we've given it an emotion. We've given it a feeling. So therefore we've held on to that limiting belief of not being enough. And I'll share the example of being an athlete as a mom, a mom athlete. When I started my weight loss journey, I had, I was, I lost about 55 pounds through the journey. When I started it, I was overweight, had gained 55 pounds with my youngest. And when I walked in and wanted to work with a personal trainer to learn form, he asked me like, what's your goal? And I was like, my goal is to be an athlete. And another personal trainer had overheard us and she pops up and she goes, well, you're a mom. You can't be an athlete as a mom. And I was like taken back and I was like, really? Like, okay, whatever. But I believed that. I believed I couldn't be an athlete. And then when I went to go power lift, and I made it, you know, I took state <laughs> records and stuff. I was like, oh, that was a limiting belief put on to me by someone else. I stopped believing that once I realized how strong I was and I was an athlete and I was athletic. So that's just an example of other people put beliefs on us to limit us. And sometimes they don't do it intentionally either. They're, you know, oh, you dream too big. That's a limiting belief. So you also have to be aware of when it happens to you to block those limiting beliefs and be like, no, that's actually not my story. That's your story. I choose not to believe that way. And so once you're aware of the, you know, your environment and the things that you are saying to yourself and that other people are saying to you, you will be like, nope, I'm not going to believe that. And so it's kind of like stopping it before it becomes a belief. Because if you've ever worn an outfit or something that someone's like, oh, that outfit is ugly, your brain automatically wants to doubt whether you like the outfit or not, even though you loved it when you put it on. But that's just the way our brain works. So you have to be aware of that. So to recap, what I would suggest, if you have limiting beliefs and you know you have them, take a couple minutes, literally five or 10 minutes, write down two or three limiting beliefs to reprogram, Write them down, what your limiting beliefs are. On the other side of the paper, write down how you are going to reprogram them, to reprogram them, so, and then find proof that they're not true. If you are doubting whether you can make six figures or if you are doubting whether you are a good mom, find proof that whoever has that, that it's possible. And anytime it's possible for someone else, it's possible for you as well. 
that doesn't mean that you can't have the same thing someone else has. And find that proof and then create those and keep writing those every day. Keep writing your affirmations or keep writing those validation words that you need to reprogram that. So every time you hear, I'm not good enough, you're gonna be like, nope, I reprogram that and I am good enough. If you don't believe you are good enough yet, just keep saying, I am good enough or I'm on my way to be good enough. Sometimes we had to have a bridge in between that and that's okay because you're starting that process. And so when you write that down and you say it and you're aware of where your thoughts are in the middle of the day, no, I am good enough. And you just like keep turning it on. And throughout the day, I also highly recommend to do a check-in with yourself to ask yourself, what are you thinking? Where are your thoughts? Are they more negative than positive? And if so, what is triggering that? And be very aware of your surroundings. And when you start going down that path of having lim limiting beliefs and thoughts, ask yourself where and why. So I hope this was helpful. If you have found any value, please leave a comment below. And I will be back next week with a different video.